I am tired, so I probably look very tired. I'm making hot chocolate. I wanted a little treat this morning. I'm gonna set you guys up on the paper towels. If you guys watched our vlogs last year, you would know that I always get my hot chocolate from Bob Evans. And the convenience of DoorDash is absolutely amazing and I would get it from DoorDash, um, but they don't offer hot chocolate on DoorDash anymore. So I um, am making it myself. I just use like a regular packet. Um, but I do add heavy whipping cream to it and it kind of tastes like Bob Evans So I think that's definitely like what they do. I really don't know. I also think they use like two packets of Hot chocolate if anyone works or worked at Bob Evans Let me know what they did because I desperately want to know um, I feel like all diner hot chocolate tastes the same and it's just absolutely amazing but I do add heavy whipping cream to my hot chocolate and it's really, really good. And I feel like I sound like my voice is a little low this morning. It's a little sore, which sucks. Sore throats are the all time worst. Like, mm, they're just awful. So I have a little bit of a sore throat. It sucks. I don't wanna have a sore throat. Sore throats are the worst. If I have a sore throat, I always have hot chocolate. It's funny how people have like their own things. Like if Mike is sick, he has vanilla Coke with pizza. And whenever I have a sore throat, I have hot chocolate. It's just funny how everyone has their own like little, you know, thing that they do. You can probably hear like our little heater. Oh, you can see it. Our little heater back there, our oil ran out. And with Thanksgiving and everything, they couldn't come out for a little while. So we've been living in a little bit cold temperatures. So we have little heaters all around the house. And then luckily we have the electric fireplace in the movie room. So that's been keeping the house really nice. Um, but like if you walk away from the heaters or anything, it gets really, really cold. So it's cold in here. I am very thankful for heat. I'm very thankful that we have it. So, um, and I'm super thankful for these because they work really great, but it's been a little chilly and I'm always super cold all the time. I'm about to make a really good breakfast and I think I'm gonna wrap some Christmas presents because I have time this morning. Then I will show you guys a little bit of the Christmas decorations that we have up because I didn't do like a decorating vlog this year and I think it would be fun to just show you a little bit of the house because I showed you guys Halloween decorations and everyone really, really loved it. So I'll just do like super quick tour. Like hopefully it only takes a minute because um, I know that can get boring. So I'll just try and show everything really fast. So I'm gonna make breakfast and then I'll show you guys whenever I'm done. Okay, so I just finished up breakfast. I had to throw out this trash from my new SD card. We are filming on a new SD card today. Even like a new like little part that it goes into. I love how I just don't know the names of things and this is my job. Um, <laughs> I'm just not good with technology, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, we are using all new everything except for a new camera um, because the footage from the cruise got completely deleted from the bad card and then I filmed a Frenchie's Bakery video and the same thing happened on a new card. So I just got all new everything. I'm going to throw out all the old stuff. The only thing that scares me is it might have to do with my computer at this point. My computer is not even a year old and it's been giving me so many problems. Uh, it's just... It's been a real pain, so I'm debating on getting a new one. Computers are so expensive though, it just kind of sucks. But I'm gonna like really just look into a good computer to get because I use it every single day and I can't be having this kind of stuff happen because everything was on my card from Frenchie's Bakery. I stuck it in the computer, the computer like acted weird and then I was like, what the heck is going on? So I popped it right back into the camera and it was all gone, so. Ah. I don't know what's up, it just sucks really bad and sometimes like I'll watch videos on the computer and the volume won't work so I have to exit out and then sometimes it's really bad to the point that I have to turn it off. It sucks. So uh, it just frustrates me a lot. Okay, so this is my little wrapping paper hack. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before. I really, I don't remember. Whenever you have wrapping paper and you like throw it in the closet, it just becomes a cluster and so messy and just awful. And after doing it for a year of living like in my own home and everything, I was so sick of it. So right away I was like, I have to think of something. I looked on Pinterest for a few ideas and I saw an idea where you use a hamper. So I found like a really small one. I didn't want to go like too crazy. Um, I found a small cheap hamper on Amazon and I just put all of my wrapping paper that is left over from the year in here. And then I have these nice like gift boxes which I am just reusing and I put bows in it and little like name tag things. I have tape and a pen and everything and Sharpies and all that stuff just to wrap presents. All of the goodies to make them pretty and everything just stored in these nice boxes and then they fit in here. So this is just like 
one small compact thing that I put in the closet. There's a little piggy. There's a little Odie. She's wondering why on earth she hasn't gotten breakfast yet. <laughs> Do you want to eat, little girl? Oh, I know. I know. Okay, we'll feed you. So, yeah, this is it. We are in the coat closet now. <laughs> this is the other thing that I have to hold, like, birthday bags and stuff. I think this is actually specifically for gifts because the pockets are really deep to hold the bags and everything. So if you just look up, like, gift bag or wrapping storage on Amazon, you can find this. It's super convenient, and it just hangs in the closet and keeps everything super organized. And then the other side has more Christmas stuff. We do not use our attic for storage because Mike likes to say like if you use an attic you're just gonna have more and more and more clutter. So we just don't use it. We live by that and we don't use it at all. So we don't have much room to work with. We don't have a basement. So these two like closets here are all of the storage. Um, so our coats and stuff are in there and then all of our decorations for all seasons go in there. I have them like stacked up in bins as organized as I can get it. But that's why I have like these huge organizing tips for myself because we don't have much room to work with. These are literally our only two closets, which is crazy. Is that so yummy? A lot of new flavors added to your food this morning. All right, while the girls eat, we'll do a quick little Christmas tour. So on our little wine station over here, I just have a little snowman, a tree, and then a vanilla bean Christmas candle. And then I have the dining room table decorated with Christmas candles, some garland going down, and over here we have Santa Claus and Rudolph. And then I have my garland hung here on the window with colorful lights to make things pretty and festive. And of course, my snow globe collection. Everyone loved this last year, and whoever comes over to visit, this is like the first thing we talk about. It just everyone sees it right away and loves it. They're just so pretty. I love them a lot. Oh my god, excuse you. She burps so loud after every meal that she has. It's hilarious. That's not very ladylike. And in the kitchen, it's nothing too crazy. I just have a little bit of garland up there. It's red and green and white. And then I have this little setup at the window. It's really hard to see because it's light outside. Um, but this is like that buffalo print on here super hard to see and then there's lights which light up at night oh you also can't see those because it's so bright but this is really pretty I love this little idea and it looks really cute at night and then this year I added these this is a new touch to our little island here super easy to do I just tied some wreaths on the back and I think it looks really cute and then of course my little reindeer Frenchie so cute I love him and then they count down for Christmas a little Christmas cookie baking sign and then in the movie room I just have garland hanging up on the doorways the Grinch picture as well as Max and the tree so this is like a little Grinch corner and then I have the TV area decorated with a little village down here it looks really nice I like the lights underneath the snow as well as our tiny little tree I like to say that this is a little doggy tree I'll put their presents under there and stuff I put out some Christmas pillows I only have two actually so I just have Two little ones, a nice Christmas blanket, and I just reused this idea from my fall decorations, and I just added a Christmas candle and then a Christmas tree, and I think it looks really nice. And then in our main living room, we have our big Christmas tree with this adorable little candy cane ladder that I put an elf on, so she's like decorating the tree for us. I found that at Hobby Lobby, and I think it's so cute. And then our poinsettias, our little lantern with a candle, and some red and green decorations at the bottom just to bring some color to it some more Christmas pillows little snowman little Christmas tree and then I do the Christmas bulbs hanging down from the windows with Christmas lights. And then I also got this village yard sailing, which this is really difficult to find. They have it on Facebook Marketplace for like hundreds of dollars. They're so expensive, they're collectibles, and I got this for three dollars, I think. It even came with lights. So it was really well kept and it's super cute and then that lamp turns on too. And I got that from Hobby Lobby a few years ago, but I love this little area. It's a new addition. And I also do this every single year. I put garland around our mirror. Little Santa Claus sleigh. This is Savannah's shrine area. So I moved like her stuff and I did every other shelf with Christmas stuff. So we have our Santa and then another tree. More Christmas pillows. 
everywhere. This adorable tree, they have them at Target. I think it's so cute. I can't believe I never thought of this idea. You just get a simple little tree and then glue bulbs into it. I can't believe I didn't think of that. And then of course I have the garland at the TV with little stockings that we never fill, but it's there for cuteness. And over here, Santa, trees, gingerbread houses, little just random houses and trees thrown everywhere, nothing crazy. And then the bulbs and Christmas lights on this window as well. So I think that was a lot longer than a minute. I guess I had more decorations than I ex like thought that I did. Um, but yeah, that's everything. I like all the Christmas decorations. It makes it so happy and fun in here. And this little girl, she is just being so crazy. All right, are you ready to wrap, little one? Little Oatmeal's first Christmas. She's getting to know all the holidays. She loved Thanksgiving, of course. All right. <laughs> We had a big day of wrapping presents, shopping getting stuff the, done. Shopping in the black bison. Now we are at Ollie's and we're gonna get a bunch of kids' toys. This car is running with nobody in it um, for the toy drive this Sunday, which this video is probably gonna go up next week. I think I'm really blurry. I don't know how to fix that. So it already happened, but we're gonna go get a bunch of toys. And I'm excited to be a part of it this year because oh, this is a great spot. I was not able to come last year. I forget where I was, but Mike got like all these toys by himself and he vlogged all by himself. Oh, I did vlog. Yeah, and I wasn't there. So I'm excited to pick out all these toys. It's so exciting to do this so we'll for the get kids. Two carts. Yeah, we'll get two carts and we're gonna get all sorts of toys. Oh my god, look at all these toys. People sleep on Ollie's. I know, they do, and I don't know why. And look at all these toys. Like you come in here and this is like a Toys R Us. No, I didn't know about it either. No, see, this is right up my house. <gasps> oh my god, babe. I guess we'll just grab a couple of these extreme monster trucks. Okay, so you go ahead and you do your thing. And then I'm gonna go do my thing and pick out like dolls and stuff. All right, unfortunately, you guys are coming with me. I know you guys have had enough of me today already. We're gonna get an Olaf. Uh, oh, ooh, Barbie, this is cute, pony. My cousin would love this, so we'll get that. Look at this cute little beetle. That's adorable with the dog. So cute. Where's Michael? Michael? God, I hope that's him. Oh, that's him. Babe! What? Your what? cart! Kids will like whatever. Oh my gosh! Your cart is full! It was a little easier this year with my help because yeah. we were able to do three fine. carts I instead was, of just one. I think, did I do one or two? I thought I did two. Maybe you were dragging two oh, everywhere. I think I was dragging two. We got all sorts of goodies. So we're back, the truck is full. We made a stop at Costco to get some more wrapping paper and then a few more presents for some people. And then we stopped at Target to go and find a toy for someone in the family, but everything was sold out, so that was just kind of a waste of time. And then we got dinner at Nino's. Takeout, obviously, we're gonna eat it here. I realized that we never told you guys a little thing that we did to our house, and I feel like I'll tell you right now, because it's kind of a big deal. So I mentioned earlier in this vlog that there is the chance that this is maybe our last Christmas slash second to last Christmas. I kind of thought like I always wanted to professionally decorate this home because it has amazing like angles and everything. Now obviously we can't show you guys the front of the house because we want to keep things private. Um, but I decided to just splurge this year, go for it and do it. So I made a phone call like, I don't know, four months ago, I made an appointment for professional decorating and it looks so good, so happy with it. I can't believe we didn't do this sooner, but I'm gonna show you guys the side of the house because that's probably the most that I can show you. But the whole roof is lined with gorgeous lights and it's um, it's showing up like way more white on here, but it's a really soft white light. I love that. So the whole house is lined with it. It looks so pretty. I love it so much. We're really, really happy with it. The camera's being real weird tonight, still being blurry. I'm sorry about it. I really don't know what's going on. It's never really given me this much problems before, but Mike's unloading and I'm gonna go help. But I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Our Christmas lights and we're really getting in the spirit and the camera's blurry, so I'm just gonna stop recording now. We got everything unloaded. Now we're gonna have dinner. We got meatball sub here, buffalo chicken sub, super freaking yummy with homemade bread. Their bread is so amazing at Tonino's. The girls are ready to bum. Oatmeal's over here loving the new pillows that we got. You wanna cuddle with those tonight? We're always having to get new pillows for Mike because he supports himself like whenever he edits. So they get like all flat real fast. So we had to get them new ones and they're like really firm. So hopefully they hold up for a little while. 
Um, but yeah, that was just a running around, getting ready for Christmas kind of vlog, and not too much going on, but it was a lot of fun to bring you guys along. I love doing these little daily vlogs, and a lot of the times I get really good feedback from you guys that you like them as well. So we're gonna go eat some dinner. Thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!